Now we've had a crazy few weeks with the onslaught of all this AI stuff going on. We've got ChatGPT, we've got the Photoshop, new background replacement beta that is swirling around. Uh, my name is Rachel Branke. I am the head of the Law Talk, the go-to legal resource for photographers. Wanted to share a little bit with you on my insight into what is going on specifically with the Photoshop beta right now. Now we've seen a bunch of videos about it. People are replacing backgrounds, they're cleaning up blemishes, they're doing all sorts of things. But what I find incredible incredibly interesting is if you go and look at the beta terms, beta is the key word, it has a one-liner, very vague, about the output that is generated cannot be used for commercial use. This doesn't mean that you're a commercial niche photographer branding headshots. This means if you are using the generated output, the final product, or a piece of that in your final product, then whatever generates out of the Photoshop AI cannot be used in a commercial nature, which is selling it to your clients. Now, do I think that this is gonna change? Probably, again, this is only in beta. Now, are they spinning this up because they're gonna make it a part of subscription? What is Photoshop gonna do for it? Or Adobe, we don't really know what's coming down the pipeline. Just be mindful now, if you're going against the terms, you are violating a contract. You don't want your clients to do it to you, don't do it there either. Let's be on the up and up as business owners and make sure that we're following the terms that we're agreeing to.